Now, if you're just tuning in, <laughs> our focus is educating creatives on how to protect their intellectual property and ensure they get paid for their work. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WeShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WeShow. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. I think the phone lines also will be open at this point. So, Barista, before we went on a break, when you read that lengthy... Section, section nine, sub nine section subsection three. three of the law, <laughs> <laughs> the copyright law. You know, at the tail end, where you say all other works mm -hmm. gives right to the creator of the work, that, that ending part, can you please expand on that? So does this mean that if they have published it, for instance, in the case we were talking about at premium times, does this mean that um, for the movie, she owns the copyright? Or explain it, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know about premium times or anything. What it says, the section says that, but in all other respects, mm. in all other respects, if it's not publication, in all other respects, the author shall be the first owner. That section deals what, with what, what we call first ownership. Mm. So it says that the first ownership belongs to the author. And those rights are in, uh, they are stipulated there. Yeah. Okay. So, so, okay. So, 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 so that's go ahead. It. Okay. Thank you, Barrister Mena. That was uh, that was <laughs> quite enlightening. It's well, no I'm, one, one I'm learning so much, <laughs> and I'm trying to take it all in. But what if there is a situation whereby there is no contractual agreement between both parties? Did you say where there is no contractual agreement? Agreement, yes, yes please. So the presumption of the law is that the author owns the work. That's it. So let me even say, let me even read it out. So section nine says copyright is conferred by the copyright conferred by section two and three of this act shall vest initially in the author, notwithstanding where a work is commissioned by a person who is not the author's employer under a contract of service or apprenticeship, mm -hmm. or not having the so commissioned is made in the course of the author's employment. Copyright shall belong in the first instance to the author unless otherwise stipulated in writing under contract. Mm -hmm. So if it is not stipulated in writing that the, co that the, that the copyright will, be, will vest in the employer, the copyright vests in the author. Hmm. Wow. That's that's simple. But like I said, with regard to the Tobore matter, hmm. I've only stated what the law is. The construction of or the interpretation of that provision is not in my hands. It's in the hands of the court. Hmm. So I would be presumptuous to say this because evidently I don't have all the facts. Hmm. Because you see, you see, I've I've experienced this so many times in court. The first person who will come will tell his story in such prolific way. So by the time you start hearing the other side, mm. but then you start hearing all other things that are on the side, it will sway your view one way or the other. Yeah. So uh, it is very important that we refrain from, from well, that's for me. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm, from taking sides. I need to refrain from taking sides. Absolutely. I've just on what the law is. What the law says. <laughs> okay, you want to come in here? Yes. So I was just going to ask a very educative question. Is that how easy and how long does it take for me to copyright my idea? So that people at home, uh, especially the people that we're talking to, the creatives can know that, okay. Because a lot of people always assume that legal services are very expensive, especially when you talk about where you go to patents, copyright. And it might just probably be lack of education. So how this copyright, how easy is it for like a layman to work up and get? Okay, so people talk about registration of copyright all the time. Like I said, copyright attaches to you by law. But there's a system of depository under the Nigeria copyright regime where you do your work, then you take it there to the copyright commission and you deposit deposit so that they have a copy of it for purposes of you know just knowing that the work was created and to ascribe it with some connection with you so the fact that you do that does not mean that you own the copyright because you may have stolen somebody's 
idea to do that. We we'll just go and do that. So, so at, at some point, you will not contest who did it first or whatever it is. So those are the things that you have to have in mind. With regard to, to a patent or a trademark, as soon as you create it, even the book that you're writing that is protected by copyright, as soon as you write it, it qualifies to, to be protected by law. And you can take it to the depository if you want to follow that. When you write your song, you produce your song immediately, it's copyright attaches to it. If, you, if it's an invention, you now do the formality, write it, and take it to the registry and ref to register it, and you have a patent. Now, if it's a trademark, you have your logo, you choose the class, the class of goods that you are trading in. So, for instance, if you're dealing with bags, it's in a different class. If you're dealing with books, it's in a different class. If it's cosmetics, it's in a different class. So you have to be able to identify, you tell a practitioner um, what class of goods that you're dealing with, and they will advise you what class to put it, and you register your trademark in the class that is appropriate for you, and you get the protection, and nobody can stop you from using it. If that happens, you know what to do. Okay. Hmm. Is, there a <laughs> you yeah. have a is there a site one can go to, technically, um, to get to know about all these in one place is there a site one can actually Just look at meet a lawyer aside from going to a lawyer <laughs> you, must, you, must a lawyer. Yeah, you um, must come to a lawyer uh -uh. Uh, we have we have about 10, how many thousands of lawyers in town and the number of lawyers we have several ip practitioners very good lawyers all around town so you should be able to meet one i'm of them. telling you okay so so, Barista Mena, so when the case has gotten to the point where somebody out there has a creative work that had possibly has been stolen by somebody else and is dragging, you know, how, because how easy is it to actually even go through the works of going through courts and all of those things? Which is the best way to even settle issues of copyright? Should we still go through the, 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 the law court or, or if I want to go to the court, how long does it take? Because in Nigeria alone, I think a lot of people, why they end up giving up on some of these things is also the judicial process. You know, it takes so much time. It, it costs a lot of money. I, I mean, I was listening to someone that was saying that he, he ended up spending much more than the thing that he was even fighting for, <laughs> you know, because he was trying to pursue that, uh, uh, that case, right? So how do if we... It's even... worth fighting for, if it's worth fighting for, fight for it. Because the story of the judicial process is so slow, it's as old as the hills. Yeah. We've been saying it from time in memory. So, but despite that, people are still enforcing their copyright. People are still enforcing their intellectual property. If you sleep on your right, people will trample on it and you will exactly. not get anything out of it. Hmm. So you have to insist. At some point, you get to a point where you have to insist on your right. And you forget, you won't even think about time. And even that time is a construct of the mind. Engage the process and pursue it. And let's see, see how it goes. It works. People are still claiming rights. People are still getting judgments. People are still enforcing their rights all over the place. It is very essential for the growth, for our economy, for intellectual property to be protected. And the most single and viable process of protecting is still in the law courts. Mm. This case of Tobari that we are talking about, at the end of the day, if you don't settle it one way or the other, you will come to court. Mm. This is we're in a civil society. You can't take laws into your hands. You have to go through the process that is laid down. It's still effective. I'm not one of those people that would now say the judicial process that is where I belong. I've been practicing this for yeah, years. Yeah, I was going to say. Yes, I've, and I've been very effective in giving results to my clients. So I believe in it, and I encourage everybody to 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 take take chance. By Samenda, by Samenda, I know because you are a lawyer. You know, people always say that lawyers like to go to court because. <laughs> You know, that is only the way you will make your money. You know, if there's, a, if there's another way, you will not even tell us another way to settle this matter. You will say, let us go to court. You know, but, but that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the notion that lawyers and people have with lawyers. So we all know about mediation. Yes. Trying to try to settle it amicably. That's available. It's not, um, there's not anything sophisticated. Yeah. You can call the people that, that you can talk to and they try to resolve it. But after everything, if that one doesn't work, you will still come to a court. <laughs>
<laughs> you have a comment. Okay. Um, my comment goes thus. I think um, Barrister Mena will really love this. Okay, this is from Nasiru. He says, my take is creative must read the fine lines of any of, of any and every agreement with a competent entertainment lawyer. So, Perfect. You knew I, I would I, like, like it. I said, not he, any he, type he, of lawyer. And <laughs> not any type of lawyer. I, like I said, yeah, I'm embarrassed. There's one really talking to you now. So. Yes, there's one talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> But by Samena, you know that, you know that. The truth is, the people that have the biggest, and this is not to take light of other people that have issues, but the people that are the biggest um, victims of issues with copyright are up startups, upcoming. You know, so you see, um, I just want to blow. So you you see a record label, you do not think twice, you just, they give you something because they yes, promised okay. you so many things. You've signed, you know, and you now realize two years down the line, that you are making so much money, but you're not seeing the money in your personal account, right? The, the, the biggest victims of these issues with uh, copyright and all this drama that has to do with, you know, intellectual property are the people that probably, you know, they're just starting up, they don't have the money and all of that. Well, so is there something... Let me, cut there. let me cut you short okay. there. This is my experience. Mm. You know that this upstart that you're saying, they meet an entrepreneur, they meet a business owner, they meet a record label mm -hmm. who is willing to, to take a gamble mm -hmm. to take a chance on them because i support i've been on this side and i've been on the other side yeah. you meet somebody who's willing to take a chance on them mm -hmm. and invest in you then after putting some money and putting everything together because you now see some prospect that you just then the next thing you cut off you start dissing the guy who invested money, and that, that's, that's, that's not fair. Then on the converse, these record labels or the entrepreneur, they want to now stifle, control, suppress, and prevent the, the, the star from rising hmm. by putting such ridiculous terms of the contract. Yeah. So there, there has to be a balance of some sort. So it depends on who you're dealing with. If they give you something when you know that even the banks, don't, the banks don't, do they not treat you that way? Mm -hmm. When you go to the bank, you want money to do, to do business. They give you the terms, sign it. Mm -hmm. If you sign it, you get the money. If you don't sign it, too bad. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 for you to rise, you have to go through certain things. So it calls for patience, it calls for dialogue, it, talks, it calls for balance on both sides. I'm not going to diss one party at the expense of the other. I've been on both sides. I've represented people on both sides. But for what I would say for the upcoming people, yes. they make haste slowly. Hmm. Hmm. That's it. Um, Uwa, yeah, I'd like to add it. something here. So the, the something that creatives don't see is that they're also business people. I don't know yeah. why people that are creatives exclude themselves from small businesses yeah. because that's what you are and you want to make money with what exactly. you have and there's always everybody that is advising small businesses you have to start the right way it doesn't matter how small you are because that's not where you're going to remain the plan is to scale to grow eventually blow so you have to put the right structures in place from the beginning as the pastor has said you have to make the right investment and right investment, especially for people in creative, is to invest in an entertainment lawyer, which is, there is no shortcut to it. Because you should have learned from other people's mistakes. Nice. You know, when I opened, I said that you need to learn from other people's mistakes. You see this in the news every day. And the first thing you need to do is to submit to getting the right advice. It would cost, as I said, there's investment on both sides. So mm -hmm. creators should start seeing themselves as business people. That's, mm. that's my own take. Fantastic. You are a business. All the business advice that people take, follow it. It's a business. It's just like and the structure me. is different, but you're a business. Trust me, the next time I present a paper, I'm going to take that to your line. Creatives <laughs> to start seeing them as business. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I'm not copyrighted. It's no, it's not, it's not a work of At least you will give her end credits. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, and I will not make the movie you know, but Barista, yeah. on the final note, eh? yeah. help our ministry for people that are upcoming and young. Do you have any package for them? 
at least let them come yeah. to you because i know you do a thorough job when it comes to your work right but a lot of people are afraid when they just see your name alone they will just run <laughs> you know but do you have something well, that you have for young people i have several young people that i'm you know providing service for it's not because it's my it's my interest the young shall grow yeah. so if you're not with them when they are young when they are old they will they not remember you <laughs> So uh, I, 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 we have, we have in, within my firm, we have a unit that deals with that, that sets, that is set up primarily for that. It's called U Law. Mm. So U Law deals with that. Uh, we meet you where you are mm. and provide service to meet your current position. Mm. So yeah, well, it's not there's the rule of exclusion does not apply to them. We have to be able to to meet you at the point of your need that's it absolutely thank you so much marissa mena <laughs> what a lovely time with you we have been school this is law 101 i'm telling you <laughs> or the whole, entire law four years in one day uh, we'll still bring him back <laughs> yes we'll thank you so much Dr. Uh, Mar marissa mena thank you so much all right so ak on the final notes my final note i would say you don't always need to get your hands burnt. Learn from other people's mistakes. Bonds, mm. You know, learn from other people's experience mm -hmm. and start the right way. Mm -hmm. Starting the foundation is very, very important so that we can avoid stories that touch mm -hmm. and now see whether it's emotional or not. The law is not emotional. Try to have a backing. And Vice mm -hmm. Amena is there for you. He has even said he has people on his team to help. I tell you. Mm -hmm. How about you, Isi? Seek an entertainment lawyer. <laughs> That's all I know. Well, I would, Don't I would try to do it all by yourself. Yeah, I would say that the truth is when there's so so many water has gone under the bridge, right? Absolutely. Like this case that is currently brewing right now in the exactly. I think they should just get to a point where everybody will say, you know what, let us let's resolve let's this. meet at a common ground, you yes. know. Everybody should be should, should be seen to be fair. I know the law is not emotional, but I mean, this particular story is quite, you know, yeah, yeah. So let, let them find a middle you. ground. Mm -hmm. Let them find a middle ground. So thank you so much again to our barrister, our barrister Mena. Thank you, AK. Thank you, EC. Thank I had you. a fantastic conversation. Thank you, everyone that sent in their messages. Sorry we couldn't take calls today. Um, so um, ways was birth from the need to inspire, influence lives and transform them towards action. And this year we're starting our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company and you have um, internship slots that you would like to give us, please partner with us on this. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Ways and follow us on all our social media handles. Now, this is going to be an all-year-round engagement, so keep telling your friends to tell their friends to keep all their eyes on Ways. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. It's nice to think my ideas can still entertain and challenge people after I am gone, but I would like the royalties, Biko, for them while I am alive. Please, please, please. <laughs> We'll see you live on Monday as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.